and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I was near here, so I decided to pop in. Um, normally I would not try, but I'm thinking I have the case in Nevada. I have a jewelry case in Nevada at uh, the Good Stuff Thrift Store and Collectibles Mall in, in uh, Las Vegas on North Decatur. So I'm going in to see what I can find Maybe for the case, you know, if nothing else, and you never know, maybe it's a really good day. You don't know unless you go in. Look who it is. It's my favorite girl. Oh, I like the heart. Hi. That heart is cool. Grab that heart for me. Yeah. And I'm going to go look. Oh, no, it's really cheap. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. I noticed the loops when I was um, editing. That's cool. Oh, oh, it's this one. That's why. Okay, never mind. I knew there was a reason. What about? Um, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> this is cool. This is very modernist. This I like. Oh, look at the clasp. What does it say? Oh, awesome. I will take that. That's awesome. Yes, that's a yes. And then what else? Um, any new rings? No. Those are the same. Mm. Can I see the gold filled bangle? Uh, $39.99. Oh, the, the gold, thick gold with flowers. It's older, but right behind it. Yes. Okay. This is gorgeous. Let me make sure it's really gold filled. All right. There, there is a child screaming. There is the mark right there. There. There's the mark right there. I love this. That's beautiful. And it is, okay, you're going to get that. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe not seeing anything there. No. Can I see the ones that are upside down? Yeah. Oh, it's those. Okay, you can have those back. See, I was just here. Those are a no. Hmm, not a, not a good one. Actually, can I see the um? Can I see the envelope? The the gold envelope. Yeah. I realized that I didn't look at the name on the back. I wanted to check it for a mark. There is something there. Let's see if I can make it out. So this is marked KDFR. It's a great pin. And I mean, it's so one of a kind. It's so romantic, this little love letter, 10 carats. It's actually a good price. And with the discount, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that today. What else? Ooh, a Tiffany. That's a Tiffany gate. Oh, can I? Oh, that's. Can I see the amber? Yeah, that one. That's amber and gold, eh? Yeah, that's real. It's not good enough. <laughs> that's a no. Let's see what's. Ooh, those are cool. Those hoops. Hmm. Can I see those? Yeah. Thank you, Annabelle. Ooh, those are nice. <laughs> See? All right, I'm going to take these off in the card and have a look. But let's see what else I can do in a group. How about um, the... Uh, is there anything else? Mm. I'll look at those round ones. Yeah. I might as well look at the feather, too. 
Okay. All right, let's see what we have now. This. All right, I will double check that. I thought it was newer. And then these, these are cool. We'll check those. And then these, look at the, look at the nice crystal in here. Let's see what those are too. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> okay, so this is, it turns out it is newer. And then these are, this is J. Crew. This is signed J. Crew, so that's a yes. I'm going to get those. But I have, you see that crazy bright plastic on the bottom? The one next to it. The crazy bright colors. Yeah. It's very, this is very 80s. Oh. I am loving this. Is my, is my judgment gone? Because, no, it's not gone. We're going to get that. I love it. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Okay. This pink one in the back, I know it looks like an old Coro or something, but it's not in good condition. I can see the pearls peeling from here. Let me show you. See, here it is just through the case, and that has definitely seen better days. So we don't need that one. Oh, look, a little peek. It's an interesting angle. Oh, there's one hiding for $6.99. Okay. You see that? that oh, there are some things hiding in here. Can I get to them? The, uh, well, no, that's plastic. So that clear, that's plastic. But there is, uh, there's like, um, looks like a halolite and coral or something. We'll look at that. Baby. Look at this. It's hot, hot, hot pink. Oh, that's cool. That's like um, lock jewelry. But vintage lock jewelry is actually something I... Oh, my God. Look at the hearts. Okay. Can I see these hearts right here? Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. That feel, this feels good too. All right, can you put this with my pile? Thank you. We'll see what else there is. The daisies with the little baby. Oh, fake Yerman. That's fake Yerman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, this goes with my other one. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I must get that. I must get that. That's exciting. Can I see this? This is long. Look how great that is. That is awesome. Pop art, pop art. And then we have this top of counter. Um, I'm not sure why I left this last time. It's actually really cool. I should have at least looked at seeing who made it. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. And then let's see. That's nothing. Very plastic. Calvet. This is pretty. Look at that. That looks older. These are pretty glass. We will check that one. And then this is like uh, old Monet. Never cared for it. When it came out, I didn't care for it. Here's more bright, fun. Is this a mood I'm in? I don't know. I'm really liking them as a family. It's kind of fabulous. All right, that's a yes. Let me check this one. I'm putting this one back because it's just not nice enough, right? Or old enough. 
and it pays to let your eyes adjust because I was going to put it back and I noticed that these are bees. And then I really looked at it. This is beautiful. This is a gorgeous piece of jewelry and that is good enough to go to auction. So that we're gonna take and these, yes, thank you. And um, let's see what else we can find. Oh. All right, let's now look at it. Look at what happened. Look at this crowd. It was empty when I got here. I love this store. Look at the size of this place. Okay, heading over to kind of like the tops of the aisles. And then I'm going to go upstairs and see what I find upstairs, purse-wise. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. It's like studded. Can we see that? Look at this whole row. I never go this far back. I'm going to go far back today. Excuse me. I always go up to about here, <laughs> which seems silly, right? Like I should keep going. What is this? There's two of them. Pretty great. What does it say? It says Austria. It says 50 Austria or Joe Austria. There are two of them. It's too heavy. <laughs> and, all right, let's back up and uh, look this way. Ooh, a basketball purse. That's fun. This is pretty cleaned out. Like the whole world showed up. These are beautiful. But really, seriously, how cleaned out is this? What is this? Fresh vodka. Fresh. Oh, fresh. Prism. Prism. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing anything else. This is very 70s. It's fun. Very 70s. Very 70s. Um, oh. Okay. This base. I saw the top of this up front. I'm going to I'm going to put them together. Maybe I'll even light it. Up. Okay. Anything? I want to get to this. A bride basket. This. See, this is the top to that. I'm curious about it. I want to see if I can plug it in somewhere. This caught my eye. This is a white milk glass ashtray. Couldn't tell what it was. And then this shell, I love this. It's abalone and it's in perfect condition. There's not a chip or a mark on it. So I'm definitely picking this one up today. And it's too fragile to ship to Nevada. So it'll be coming up at auction most likely. I get the video of it being lit. So this is the top, and she said, oh, the bottom. It does work. Oh, that's cool. I'm going up right now to the second floor. This video, scarves, purses, clothes, whatever else I can find, this is coming up in a video Thursday. So subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already to see what I find here. Cute. That's silver leather Tahari. That's Nine West. So stay tuned for the car haul. That's everything that I got, plus a little bit of research that I've been able to do. Oh, this is leather. And then all of this, anything I find on this floor, will be in Thursday's video. This is beautiful. Montana West. This, these, Montana West makes really good things. All right. I will see you in the car hall coming up right now. This is
really a perfect example of what I look for when I'm filling in like the retail case in the uh, vintage, they call it a vintage mall or a collectibles mall, I can't remember. Um, but the case is in the Good Stuff thrift store in, on Decatur in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, on YouTube, the niche lady has a channel and she owns that store. So I have a case there and this is perfect for that because it's vintage 1980s. See, it has the old spring ring clasp. It's silver plated and enameled. These are enameled and there's nothing like it on the internet. It is the only one. So, you know, if they were to see it in that case, and then try and find it somewhere else they wouldn't you know so if you can say to someone good luck finding it that's always the perfect candidate right and it's something that obviously you know it's it doesn't have to go to auction because it is what it is it's a fun piece of jewelry it's vintage it's going to increase in value but i try and save the auction items for those really special valuable collectible pieces this bracelet is good enough to go to auction. Look at this. This is marked 10 karat gold filled. It's like new. And I love the optic quality. You see how it has uh, like the uh, texture that does that. That was a thing in the 1970s. So this is vintage 1970s, 10 karat gold filled. It's wide. Um, it's got its safety. A figure eight safety class pier. So this is really high quality, also one of a kind. And this will be coming up at auction. If you're interested in the auctions or if you're a reseller and you want to know what things actually go for, text me for free alerts. The number is 917-809-7250 and I'll alert you when I go live with an auction or sale or a pop-up and there's no spam. It's my real phone number. This is another example there's a different nuance to this because this is signed j crew right so these are really beautiful they are like new and j crew is highly collectible and going up in value and you see how wearable they are when you're looking for jewelry vintage jewelry uh, any kind of secondhand jewelry even if it's not vintage yet um it, you want to look for things that people want to wear like this is infinitely wearable if you can imagine a modern woman wearing it you know to dinner or to a nightclub or to church or to a show or a festival or shopping you know if you can imagine a modern woman wearing what you're looking at without looking costumey or quirky or eccentric then what you're looking at is worth picking up these are so cool that they're going to the case then there's these i love this family right this one reminds me of cadoro and it looks and feels actually pretty high end but it's just so fun and whimsical that um you know i'm sending it with the other pieces i also just like the way they work together as a family so these will be heading over to the case and i'll probably put you know, anywhere from 20 to $45 on it because this one is a special one, okay? So maybe, you know, around there for the range for each one. This one, look how special this is. This is 10 karat gold and sterling silver. It's a one of a kind. There's nothing like it on the internet. I'm gonna show you the texture of the gold in the back. Now, this one I saw last week. If you didn't see that video, I'll put the link to it up here. It's worth the watch. And I should have gotten it then, but I didn't. So I got it. I couldn't believe it was still there. So I was able to get it. Um, it cost about a uh, $100, $100, I think. Um, and worth it for 10 karat gold, right? And one of a kind and handmade. And it's a pin that you can easily hang from a chain. And it's a uh, it's special. It's actually quite large as a pendant. So this will be coming up at auction. Furthermore, this one will be coming up at auction. The process is, this is sterling silver, handmade, one of a kind. It's made by Mima. It is signed Mima. I looked that up. It's uh, out of Africa. 
and it's a designer out of Africa. It has extreme modernist qualities. It reminds me of the old modernists um, in the Calder era from the 1950s and 60s. So it's um, it's coming up. Look how beautiful it looks. It looks on a neck, and here's a close up of the wood. So this will be coming up at auction as well. This is a good example of what to put in the case. So this is made by someone, okay? It's not like a jewelry company. It's not fast fashion. It's it's uh, it's made, uh, I saw them on Etsy by someone who makes them for their Etsy shop. And again, it's, you know, pretty much rare. It's nice to find on the secondary market. Doesn't have to go to auction, no, because it's still available. So I'm gonna put a little discount on it and put it in the case. This one, this was the last thing that I found. Look how beautiful this is. This is going to the case. It doesn't have to go to the case. It could be either or. See, you can also wear it like that. Look how nice that is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.